Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at 7. Family, if you haven't yet seen our previous two episodes, our Good Friday and our Resurrection Sunday messages, I'd like to encourage you, please go and check them out. I believe that they'll truly bless you and encourage you. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs chapter 13 verse 3 from the New Living Translation as well as the Passion Translation and it reads as follows. Those who control their tongue will have a long life. Opening your mouth can ruin everything. And the Passion Translation reads, Guard your words and you will guard your life. But if you don't control your tongue, it will ruin everything. Family, that is a powerful portion of scripture right there. And it goes hand in hand with the the portion of scripture that says life and death lie in the power of the tongue. And we will eat the fruits of whatever words that we speak, family. We will reap a harvest of whatever words we have sown. And the Bible also says that we will be held accountable for every idle word that we speak. So we can see from these portions of scripture, family, that it is crucial that we watch our tongues, that we watch our mouths, that we watch carefully over what we speak, because it can have good or bad effects in our lives at the end of the day, family. You see, family, it says that those who control their tongue will have a long life. Life and death lie in the power of the tongue. Therefore, if you control your tongue and use it to speak life, you will have a long life. But if you don't control your tongue and you speak death of yourself and your situations and your family and everybody around you, You're not going to have the long life that is promising us there in the scripture. And the Passion Translation says, guard your words and you'll guard your life. Isn't that so true, family? In South Africa especially, we like to live guarded lives. We like to guard our houses and our possessions. We have trackers in our cars, alarms in our cars. We have alarms in our houses, high walls with electric fences and razor wire, burglar bars and all of these things, family. We have all of these things to guard our possessions, to guard our car, to guard our house, to guard our lives. We have passwords to guard our Facebook accounts and all these kinds of things. But we need to choose to also guard our lives. And to do that, we need to choose to guard our tongues, to guard our mouths, to watch what we say. Because even though we might have all of these things, if we speak dead, if we speak lack of protection over our souls, we're going to reap a harvest at the end of the day, family. We, if you want to live a guarded life, guard your mouth and use your mouth to speak words of protection over yourself, over your car, over your house, over your family, over your job, over every area of your life. Use your words to, to guard those things, to speak life into those things so that God's angels can go to work to make sure that that which you speak is done. Because if we speak negative, the angel's hands are tied back and the demons can go in and interfere and make sure that that negative thing that we've said has been done. But when we speak positive, it, it commissions our angels to go and in, to go and intervene in that situation, make sure the positive thing that we are confessing comes about. And both the Passion Translation and the New Living Translation basically say the exact same thing. If you go and look at the latter part of the scripture where it says, opening your mouth can ruin everything, or if you don't control your tongue, it'll ruin everything. In other words, if we don't control our if we don't guard our mouth, if we don't watch what we say, it can literally ruin everything in our lives. It can ruin our family, it can ruin our job, it can ruin our career, it can ruin all these things, family, if we don't control our tongues. Therefore, we can see that the Bible is clearly telling us how important our words are. You see, family, God created us in His very likeness and image. And we know from Genesis that God created everything that we see around us with his spoken words. He said, light be, and there was light. And those words are resonating through eternity, family, because light is still there. It's still happening. The sun is still shining. There's still light around us, family, because of God's spoken word. And if we are created in God's likeness, our words have that same creative power as God's, which is why the Bible tells us so many times that we need to watch our words carefully. So I want to encourage you, family, to watch your words carefully. Guard your mouth. Use your mouth. Use your tongue to speak life over yourself, over your family, over your house, over your job, over your career, over your finances, and over every area of your life. Use your tongue to speak positivity over the call of God upon your life, family, and we will walk in this. If we guard our mouths, we will guard our lives. But if we don't guard our mouths, if we don't guard our tongues, we have the potential to ruin everything. So we need to choose wisely, family, to guard our mouths. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you've made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your word that warns us so many times to guard our mouths and to guard our tongues. Lord, I pray for each and every single person listening, myself included, that you will help us to guard our mouths, to guard our tongues, to guard our 
God, our word, Lord, so that we can speak life into every situation and not death, Lord, so that we can speak your word in faith, so that we can walk in the fullness of the promises of your word, Lord. Help us, Lord, to uproot any seeds, negative seeds that we may have sown through our words, Lord, and help us to sow positive seeds through the words that we speak so that we can reap a positive harvest in this life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our Snapscan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.